Okay, this is the second video in my series on Slack. And in this video, I want to take a look at some apps. You can get to download some new apps by clicking on this little uh, downward triangle and going to Get Slack Apps. And where I was was I, I was uh, here on my Slack screen where I've already logged in. And this is kind of like the general screen that you see. So I'm going to click on this triangle, go to Get Slack Apps and it's going to open up another web page. And on this page I can download an app for the Mac, iOS, Android, or learn how to get this for uh, desktop like Windows, Linux, or, or the Google Chrome. Okay, and you can use these links. So just click on one of these depending on what you have. You have an iPhone, click on iOS. If you have an Android phone, like a Nexus 7, Nexus 5, possibly a Samsung Galaxy 4, uh, something like that, go ahead and click on Android. And it'll take you through the process of downloading that app. But I'm going to connect my iPhone and show you exactly how you would do this on a iPhone. Okay, so here's my iPhone. And if I want to download the app, I'm just going to come here to the App Store and launch the App Store. And then I'm going to search for Slack. Okay, the Slack app is there and you can see normally this would say free and you click it and you install it. But since I've already installed this once, I get the little uh, download from the cloud icon. So I'm just going to tap that. And I recently inputted my password so it's not asking me for the password again. And once that has downloaded, I can just click open. Or if I was back on the home screen, you can see this is my normal home screen. And there's the Slack app so I just need to tap on it. Great! And I can sign in. Okay, great! So I just signed in and I'm greeted by whatever messages are in this channel. So in the at the end of the last video you saw me post this message. Hey everyone, just completed a video on using Slack for the first time. And now I'm logged into the Slack app on my phone. Okay, so what can I do? I can post another message here on the general channel just by tapping in the message box and saying or if I tap on that pounds sign I can select a different channel okay so maybe I want to uh, post something in random so that pound sign very colorful pound sign is a way to get back to all the different channels and to select a, a new channel all right, I could search by tapping on that little search icon. Search messages or files, depending on what you want to search for. I'm not going to search right now, just showing you this. And I could tap on this little menu to go to all the different menu items. Now Slack was developed for programmers and developers, so you have things like snippets, uh, things normal people wouldn't use, but if you're a web developer or something like that, you would know what snippets are. Apart from that, you know what PDF files are, images, Google Docs. These are all different kinds of files that you can share within the app. And at the very bottom here, you see you can switch teams. So I've got multiple teams that I run. So they each have a Slack channel. Uh, so if I wanted to switch from one to another, I could just tap there and switch. But I'm going to tap back into the message area. That's pretty much it for the iPhone app. I'm going to put that down for a bit and let's do the same thing on an iPad. So I'm going to connect my iPad and you'll see it in a second. Okay, and same process. I'm going to go into the App Store. Up here in the top right, I'm going to tap in the search area and search for Slack. Search. And tap the little download from the cloud icon. Uh, this time I need to input my password. Okay, now that's that's downloaded, I can click open and sign in to the account. Okay, so when I have the iPad in portrait mode, you can see that I have my list of channels on the side and the main messages on the right side. And I have a message box in the bottom, which I can type into. Now if I rotate the iPad to landscape mode, this is a little bit easier to use 
because I get a full keyboard when I tap in the message field and I still have access to the channels. I still have access to the uh, file menu on the right side. And so this is probably how I'm going to use the iPad with Slack. Very nice, very easy way to see things and uh, connect with people. So those are two of the apps. I can't show you the Android app, uh, but those are two of the apps that you can use to connect with Slack. And they're very good, very simple. And if you're a person who's on the go a lot, I recommend downloading the app and using it to follow the conversations.